Yesterday was was my last day ever, I think, on a Star Wars set, at least as far as 3PO is concerned, because finally I did the last shot on episode episode nine, and um, it was it was strange for me and, and, and quite uh, quite moving, quite sort of as they say, bittersweet moment. You know, um, making movies is hard work and and fun, and the great joy for me, of course, is throughout. Star Wars, I, I've been C-3PO all through the episodes, one to nine now. And um, to finally hit the end w was, was quite something, to have actually managed to survive this long, in every sense of the world, word was, uh, it was a telling moment. I'd been in Star Wars since day one out in, out in Tunisia in 1976, and that memory s stays with me very strongly. 3PO has never been a kind of protagonist. He's he's not the big hero character, of course, uh, and he's more reactionary uh, than you know somebody who actually promotes the action. But here he's with a group of people, Poe and Finn and and Ray and Chewie, going off on this adventure to to find the thing. It's always finding the thing, isn't it? And he's there in the thick of it, and above just being part of a delightful team. JJ and, and Chris wrote kind of sequences where other things built up. So 3PO's always had some kind of antagonism between him and another, another character. You know, it used to be uh, Han Solo was always really, really very rude to 3PO, very dismissive. <laughs> but very good drama, you know. It, it, it was delightful working with Harrison like that. And, and now in this one, you have, you have Poe. Oscar Isaac, <laughs> what can I say? Adorable, brilliant. Um, and somehow within the writing, um, Poe just gets irritated with 3 people all the time. And 3 people is kind of oblivious because Poe's a really nice guy and he's kind of subtle about um, <laughs> being irritated by 3 people. And the way Oscar plays it is, is just so wonderfully subtle and real. I'm like, does he have to come? You know, that's so cruel. And in rehearsal, we would both, we, Oscar and I just used to laugh at these delicious lines, these, these encounters between the two characters. When we first arrived in the desert out in Jordan, about 45 minutes' drive from, from Aqaba, um, you left the main road and suddenly you were out going towards Boo towards distant hills, mountains, craggy rock faces. And it was an extraordinary moment because it wasn't the first desert I'd been in. The first desert was in Tunisia, sand dunes and all that. This was the desert in Jordan that Ralph Macquarie must have had in mind when he, he drew, painted that original picture of 3PO. These strange, craggy, shapes with a kind of miasma of sand below them. So the whole thing kind of melted into one. It, it was it was heart turning. Um, and every day we would drive in, into the desert and every day we'd see a new rock formation that exactly pictured what Ralph had thought about. So in a way it was like 3PO coming coming home. When you're an actor, you, you know, you're always looking forward to doing uh, some interesting things. And uh, it was presented to me and uh, it wasn't a question of it being a, a leap of faith. I mean, I was, uh, I felt very fortunate. I felt very lucky. Uh, it, listen, it's, it's all an, an adventure, and uh, that's the beauty of it. He is an absolute and incredible human being. Now, again, that's one of my the high points of, of, of my career, working with J.J. So imaginative and so much fun. Um, it was one of the best, best moments uh, of my career. I enjoy working with Daisy. I mean, she's a, as a, she's a wonderful, extraordinary performer. In fact, I told her that uh, I would love to see her play a, a Joan of Arc. I think she would be fantastic. She has a lot of debt. There's a lot of uh, presence. She's a very strong presence. Well, I think bringing all of us back, 
uh, in uh, one way or another, <laughs> I think is a great idea. People, so many people love those, especially those uh, uh, those particular characters, yeah, me included. So I. Th